Today on Geek Devotions, we're talking about the power of encouraging just a few people around you, and we're talking about the three musketeers. So, on guard! Hello, Devoted Geeks, and welcome to Geek Devotions, the show from Devoted Geeks who are devoted to letting people know that they are loved. I'm Dallas, I'm so glad that you hit the play button today. If you're new to our channel, basically we take geek pop culture items, such as movies, video games, and comic books, and we use them to let people know that they're loved and that they're cared for. So if you don't watch anything past this episode, please, 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 please know this. I love you. I care about you. And hey, if you ever need to chat, get something off your chest, feel free to message us. You can reach us on all of our social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just look for Geek Devotions. So fun fact for you guys, I used to be a fencer. In fact, when I was in high school, I was uh, part of my high school fencing team. And when you're part of the fencing team, you learn something. There are essential movies and books that you have to read. Some of which, you know, The Princess Bride, which by the way, legit fencing footwork, amazing. All right, but also The Three Musketeers. I'm sorry, but that's just, it's a requirement. If you're gonna be a fencer, you have to watch these things. Now over the years, there have been many renditions of The Three Musketeers. One of my favorite ones is the classic 1990s Three Musketeers from Disney. No, wait a minute. Is 90s classic now? I feel so old. Now this one, it contains the, many of the same tropes as all the other ones. You have a young man named D'Artagnan who has a dream, a quest to become a musketeer. And as he heads out to do so, he discovers that the musketeers aren't a thing anymore. They've been disbanded by the Cardinal, right? It's a pretty bad situation. So he's kind of sad, he's depressed. And as he's walking away, he ends up uh, making a few individuals angry and getting into a few duels. What he didn't know is these all these duels were that he planned to take place at the exact same day, just at intervals. These were all with friends. Good friends. Good 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 friends. And they all show up they're like, hey you can't you can't fence him or you can't duel him because I have a duel with him later. And he's like, not until two o'clock. <laughs> it's, it's a great scene. It's probably one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie. I want to encourage you guys either look it up on YouTube or go get the actual movie because it's awesome. But that being said, um, in the midst of this, he discovers that these guys aren't just friends. They're musketeers. These are men that have served in the Royal Guard to protect their king and to protect their country. But now that they've been disbanded, it's kind of a, a dark time. It's kind of a lowly place because they've been shut down. So D'Artagnan does something really cool. He takes it upon himself to encourage these guys, to inspire them. And what's interesting, and this is supposed for anybody who hasn't watched the movie, but again, you've had since 1993 to watch it. But what's interesting is this. After he inspires just these three few guys, right? An army of musketeers rise up to defend the king, to defend their country. That's what I find beautiful about this story. One young man with a passion and dream ends up inspiring hundreds for a great cause which brings us to the point of today's devotion is sometimes we can look around us and we see everyone just kind of in this depressing dark space and there's just seems like there's no way out of this and we go I'm just one person what effect could I have well you could be a d'artagnan but the fact of the matter is this, it doesn't matter if you're just one person. The writer of Hebrews in chapter 10 wrote something very interesting that is a directive to everyone who calls himself a Christian, calls himself a follower of Jesus. In Hebrews chapter 10 verse 24 it says this, And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. This directive given to all believers is very simple. We are to consider how to encourage, or in this passage, how to stir up each other to love and to good works, and how to encourage each other not to become isolated. That first word right there, consider, sometimes, at least in our English language, we, are we the way we use consider is kind of like a passing, very passive thing. It's like, oh yeah, I'll consider it. And really what that means is, please go away, I don't want to talk to you anymore, right? But that's not what the writer of Hebrews is saying. He's, it's an action. It's an active thing. We need to be actively considering how to encourage those around us to love and to good works. Why? Because it needs to take place. If we don't actively consider how to do this, it's just not going to happen. And when we live in a world in a time frame where people are just down, depressed, maybe a little bit lonely, and to be honest, apathetic about their faith, we need to be 
active in how to stir each other up to do these things, to love others with the love of God, and to do the work of God, to do the good things he's given us. The second part of that I think is really crucial and important, especially to those of us in the geek community. Honestly, we as geeks, we're pretty isolationist in a lot of ways. We tend to isolate ourselves from the rest of the world and, and cling to our geekdoms and our fandoms, and I get it. I understand it because many of us, we don't live in a place that's super accepting. We don't have events and places that we can go to where we're around people who speak our language. So I understand the desire to isolate, but as Christians, we need to encourage each other to be part of the central body. We need to reach out to people who are maybe isolating themselves because they need the community. They need us to be there for each other and to encourage each other. So my challenge for you this week is simply this. Look around you and see who needs encouragement. And I want you to actively consider how to encourage them. Go out of your way to encourage them and in, into good works, to love, and to be part of the fellowship, to be part of the greater body that God has created. At the same time, I want to encourage you in this. You may be looking around like, Dallas, there's a lot of people, I know. Focus on just one person for now. Just choose one person to encourage. What you may see happen is what D'Artagnan saw. He encouraged three individuals, and out of that, an army rose up in the hour of need to defend a country, to defend their king. There are people who need defending right now. They're heartbroken, they're depressed, they're falling apart, and they need an army to rise up to defend them against those things, to encourage them and to pull them out of that muck and mire. So I want to encourage you, focus on one, and what may happen is you may be the spark to light a revival in your town in your state, in your country. I'm saying that because we have people international. Hi. <laughs> so your question of the week is very simple. How do you actively encourage people? Or what are some ideas that you have on how to encourage people? Leave in the comments down below. Let us know your comment could inspire somebody to do something really amazing. Hey, it may give me an idea on what to do with Geek Devotions to help inspire even more people around us. I know that one of the things that we do to help encourage each other, to stir up people to love, good works, to be part of a greater body, is we do these events called Devoted Geek Togethers. And so we're actually doing one this Saturday. If you're watching this, that'll be, like if you're watching this when it, when it publishes, it'll be tomorrow, Saturday at 6.30 at the Boardwalks IHOP. We're going to be hanging out. People are going to be dressed up in cosplay because we have a local event called GeekCon taking place. And so we're going to get together with some people afterwards. I want to encourage you, if you're in the area, come be part of that. It's going to be a lot of fun of just encouraging and loving each other. So you do that. Please come show up. Let us know. <laughs> also, if you're GeekCon, Celeste and I would love to meet you. Love to shake your hand. Love to hug you. Love to hear your story. So don't be afraid to come up and say hi. We'd love to take pictures with you, especially if you're in cosplay. We love checking out cosplayers' cosplays. I also want to encourage you guys to do this. Being part of the greater community, I want to encourage you guys to check out a few of our friends. We want you to check out Victims and Villains. We want you to check out Geeks Under Grace. We want you to check out God Squad Church. These are organizations that are part of a bigger body. And they're, they're in our geek community. And they do some great things that we think will encourage you and inspire you. So go check them out. If you want to be part of, our, of the Geek Devotions uh, Facebook group, just look up Devoted Geek Life. We have a great community in there of people who love to encourage you and stir you up to love and to good works. Not gonna lie, I consider taking my sword and doing all for one and one for all as a closing, but um, I'm afraid of breaking my camera. So, that being said, until next week, remember, stay devoted, peace, and love.